Yeah, they, I don't know, cage-free, range-free, whatever was in the refrigerator. I'm ready for today. Beach day. Beach day. Are we going to Mission Beach, you think? Oh, I don't know. Did you work out this morning? This did is my workout. Yes. My Still workout bicycles. was running my mouth last night. <laughs> you did get a little jaw workout. You're coming at me today? I don't deserve that. I'm your friend. When I'm did a I come good at you today. Oh my you God, are you kidding me? Yeah. Stop yeah. lying. The bottom line is we have all dealt with this for a long time, and it was pre-trial too. It's not anything new. What happened to me on the boat was ridiculous. Like, I was really upset about that. There's no reason to come at me because I'm not treating you badly. I don't want to be pushed. I don't want to be yelled at. Is she my friend? Yeah, but that's unacceptable. I don't treat my friends like that. I don't want to be treated like that. Last night was just more of the same, and I'm sick of it. I am there for Jen all the time. You're the only one that reached out to me after Vegas. Well, my heart broke. I don't want to be in the middle by any means, Jen, but I definitely really want to be a good friend to you, and I really want to be a good friend to Meredith. And part of that means brokering peace in some way, shape, or form. Where can we go with Jen with you? If she makes an honest apology for you and Brooks, would you want to move forward? Well, I, I want the, the, you to. Yeah. At the end of the day, I have a clear conscience. I've been a good friend to Jen, and it's not reciprocated. No one's trying to say, like, we're, we're turning we're turning our back on you, Jen. We're just telling you the way that you're treating us hurts, and she won't hear it. But it's unacceptable what she keeps doing. She and doesn't even remember pushing you. She doesn't even remember what happened. Did well, you notice that last night? That's a problem, because much like Heather doesn't even remember we were in a fight. Yeah. I know when we were in the hot tub last, you were talking about taking a friend break from her. How's that going with you guys? At a very basic level, if Heather can't validate my feelings and hear me, then I probably have to take a friendship break. Honestly, I I don't even know if she even is aware. I, I get so she doesn't even notice. Yeah. You're, you're I, absent I feel like she her pushes life. you. She hasn't even noticed. It's just really frustrating where Heather and I are at because. We were just in a neutral space, but the moment she got put on blast by Jen, she just tried to pull me into it. I show up at the choir auditions, Angie's there. My feelings were hurt. I didn't know that she was gonna show I up did, with Whitney. I, I had I, no I, idea. You invited us. My hope of rekindling our friendship is diminishing because I don't like this behavior. You guys, I'm gonna go grab a Kit Kat and get ready for the day. Good morning. How are you? Oh, Heather, I got you. Oh, thank you. Cheers. You know, right? you're surprisingly good at the executive assistant role. You want to give me a job? <laughs> are you getting dressed? Yeah, I'm going to go All get right. dressed. See you in a little bit. Oh, good. There's some bacon left over. Bacon and berries. I know. I stole some of the berries, too. What are you doing? Just trying to. Wake up, where am I? What day is it? What happened? Who are my friends? Who are my enemies? Last night, it felt very clear that Jen was saying, pick me or pick Angie. And I'm hoping that after a good night's sleep, she's gonna wake up with a clear perspective. My loyalty for Jen throughout all of these circumstances should give me a free pass. Like, I have earned that. What did you think of dinner last night? I thought it was horrible. You know? Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You look pretty. It was a bad night. I'm sorry. It's been a bad weekend. I'm sorry, I love you. This is my take. You and Jen are not in a good spot, I felt like. I, I feel like there's a lot of flip-flopping, and I was trying to bring that up last night. There's a lot I of mean, lies. I could tell that everyone was like trying to point out that Jen has been talking mad shit on me behind my back and like it's not mad shit. it's not it was about feelings there's a difference it's not like well then why was everyone calling her a flip-flopper because she's flip-flopping on her feelings like i don't think she was honest with you about them i wasn't trying to disrespect you at all i was just trying to have fun and i'm i'm sorry i didn't know that you would take it like that so i'm sorry i know i mean you know i'm sensitive and i think that's one of the things that you like about me is that you know I'm a good person, but I do get my feelings hurt. And I hate that that conversation even came out in front of other people. And I feel bad. I have a lot of love and respect for you and your family. 
And even after the shit day we had last night, I was still there for you, and you still acknowledged that you knew that I have always been there for you. The only person I know where they are is, is Angie Katsunavis. Just knowing and having you acknowledge my loyalty well, I hope friendship. you know that that's because I truly love and care about you. 